I'm going to show you how to connect Power BI Desktop with Oracle Database using Microsoft Entra ID, otherwise known as Azure Active Directory. My name is Alex Key. I'm a product manager in Oracle's database group. Using Microsoft Entra ID is very helpful for Oracle Database applications with Power BI because it allows single sign-on capabilities. You can sign on once to Azure Active Directory and then be automatically authenticated to your Oracle Database as well as to your Power BI Desktop app. Power BI Desktop uses Oracle Data Provider for .NET to connect to the Oracle database. This is the unmanaged version of ODP.NET that provides all of the options for connecting to the Oracle database. The authentication choices have traditionally been your database user ID and password, as well as using Windows OS credentials. The new addition is the ability to use Enter ID, aka Azure Active Directory. In this demonstration I'll provide shortly, I'll show you how to connect with Azure Active Directory. To install ODP.NET, you're going to need to use the Oracle client for Microsoft tools. OCMT comes in two types. One's a 32-bit and one's a 64-bit. You use the 32-bit OCMT with 32-bit Power BI desktop, and you can use the 64-bit OCMT with the 64-bit Power BI desktop. After you've installed OCMT, you'll have ODP.NET already in place. Now you just have to set up your client-side configuration files to allow connectivity to your Oracle database, whether that's autonomous database, another cloud database, or your on-premise database. So to do that, you would copy over your tnsnames.org and sqlnet.org files to your configuration file directory. This is also known as your TNS underscore admin directory. Now let's take a look at a demonstration of this feature. Here I have Power BI Desktop. And what we're going to do is connect Power BI Desktop to our Oracle Autonomous Database. We're going to click on Get Data, go to More, and then we're going to find our Oracle Database. So here we are, Oracle Database. We'll click that and then hit Connect. We'll see that an Oracle Database connectivity window shows up. We enter in our server name. This is also known as your net service name or your TNS alias. I have one already created called Oracle ADB. And you can choose any of the data connectivity options that you want or change the advanced options. We say OK. And now we see Power BI ask us what kind of connectivity we want to use. Windows Authentication, Database, or Microsoft Account. So Microsoft Account is how we connect with Azure Active Directory. So we select that. And then we see that we aren't signed in yet. So I'll click Sign In. The Office 365 window appears. And we can use a new account we haven't entered in before or we can select an existing account that we have. And these are our credentials that you use with Azure Active Directory. So I have an account already. I'll select that and enter in my password, we'll sign in, and we'll see that I am currently now signed in, which is great. So now if I hit connect, I'll be able to see the schema objects in my Oracle Autonomous Database. And here you can see that I'm connected to my Autonomous Database. I can choose a schema that I want to look at. So let's choose an example schema such as sales history, also known as SH. So if I expand this, we should see the different tables and objects that I can look at in sales history. Let's choose a few of these. We can see on the right side that every time I select one, the data starts being selected and retrieved. And once I've decided which ones I wanted to use, I can hit load and Power BI Desktop will start loading them Once it's all loaded, we can see it here in our data window. We see the channels, the different costs, and countries tables. So that was an easy way to see how we can retrieve data from Oracle database, connecting with Azure Active Directory from Power BI Desktop.